hat like that though. Good morning, everybody. It's birthday gift. Give me a hat like that. <laughs> it is. What time is it? Seven. Thirty-seven. It's seven thirty-seven. We're all here. We're about to go to Flint. We got breakfast. Thank you, Matthew. Look at. This is our breakfast. This is Ray's and Shanique and I breakfast. All of that is Matthew. Don't be coming on your video. What do you say? Oh, this is yours. And this is yours. I don't want to put my gloves. Good morning. Good morning. I look like a homeless person. Good morning. Good morning. In the name of Jesus, that you would send those mighty angels to travel with us and guide us and protect us on the road. And then as we as we arrive there, Father, I just ask that you would give us a, a supernatural spirit of service so that we could encourage those at the doors, so that we can give those that are thirsty, literally, water. So bless us during this day and during this trip. We thank in your name. Amen. Something. I don't know. I'm sleepy. I just woke up. <gasps> Daniel was on the bus. Like, like in my life. <laughs> like in my life. Like I never. I like my Negro nose with Jackson Bob nostrils. That came on my face. So guys, how do you feel spending your first Valentine's Day together on a we community we, outreach trip? We actually planned a picture to say that we used our day for service. Smile. Feels good. Smile. Smile. Feels good. Smile. If we get back. Smile. 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 I thought she was recording and not taking it. She's in the mat. I don't even want to see what she's recording. All the gloves fit. How are you enjoying Flint, Danielle? It's all the black older people. I love the old black people. They're mad funny. And filled with knowledge. Because, you know. One of the guys, he didn't know that we were coming. So he was like, I came up close to all these people. I thought I just had to open a church. <laughs> I didn't know we had a mission to do. <laughs> That's what we do now. I see, I want it. I work hard, I work too, I own it. I tore them on in here. Albino alligators. Albino alligators. Are you going to the bathroom with your bag? Huh? Not anymore. Hey, Canada. Hey. 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 Put it on their hand or something. So, Matt, yeah. can you tell them about this interview that you're about to go on? That damn camera. Is he going to do it with his missus? Am I going on the interview? Yeah. I'm warm right now. Show the YouTubers what your outfit is. Come on, OTD. Outfit of the day. Let's go. I say that cycle first and then this cycle. I got a hoodie. What's under your hoodie? Um, that's it. Let me make some I see something else. There's nothing else. Matthew, zip your hoodie down. Like this hoodie? Yeah. That's good. Is that a button up? What interview are you going on? Stop lying to us. Just... You're not even in the pre-law club. So, you know what you fake? Because is Shanika going to Boston with the engineer club? Is Danielle, who could be a structural engineer, going to engineer club? 
going? No, but Jeff, who does what? Websites is going? <laughs> Websites? Websites, yeah. Would you like to say hi? Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Andy Lee. Andy Lee. Huh? Isaac Andrews. Isaac Andrews. Daniel. Daniel. Hey, I'm Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Flint, Michigan, and I'm trying to find oh the natives of Flint, Michigan. You know, because yeah, the Flint, the Flint, Michigan, the Flint, Michiganers. <laughs> you guys don't do that. Don't you guys call each other? Oh, I'll take a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to break that. You gotta be kidding me. I just want the phone to fall. We out here in Flint, represent Lit for Flint. Dude, anyways, so, like, <laughs> Lit for Flint. so anyways, um, we're just loading up the water over here. Every every car that comes up gets about two packs of water. We're just trying to interact with people and uh, as much as possible and give as many people as we can some water. Yeah, show some love. Hashtag Lit for Flint. Hashtag Wet for Flint. We are actually in the uh, Flint neighborhood and we are going from door to door. Um, speaking with the residents and see if they need water and we're also distributing water to each individual that are in need of it based on the size of the family we'll give two or three cases of water um, and we're here at Andrews University and they're doing an excellent job in uh, ministering to our community and we do appreciate that uh, it feels great to be helping people out um, and to be doing it like in person instead of like indirectly so, mm -hmm. that's great and we get to pray with them so you know yeah i guess in jesus it warms my heart a bit and kind of makes me sad as well that so many people are like without water kind of yeah so yeah um, it's really good that you know we were watching all this happen on the news and our school and this church has allowed us to come out here and actually interact with the community and everything so it makes um it makes a whole difference i mean i just feel really connected with these people and we're trying to you know spread the gospel about God and trying to help these people as much as possible and I just love that we get to do something like this instead of just sitting on our hands so mm -hmm. it's been great I hope that we get to do stuff like this more often and it's been a wonderful day so far yes. <laughs> um, yeah it's a whole different experience seeing things on the news and actually being able to be in the environments that we're seeing on the news um, so this experience has just really opened my eyes and just really makes me feel that we can do so much more than we already think do. that we're doing. Mm -hmm. There's always needs in so many areas and we have the abilities to actually do something about it. So yeah, this experience is pretty life changing. I feel like I'm actually living the gospel instead of yeah. just reading about it. For probably one of the first times in my life, it's been, it's really been sobering and kind of life changing, like she said, to put a face to yeah. the news. Um, and I think if more people came out and did stuff like this, I think we wouldn't have problems like this as often. Yeah. Something that I've never had, something that you never see, something that you never see. Why, 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 why,
Okay, so like back in Berrien now. We got back at around 8:30, I think. Around that time, I don't know. Can't remember. But um, it was a very interesting experience. Um, I don't think we realized what we were doing until we really got there. Like for instance, um, Regine. And Shanika went to the bathroom. Well, Shanika went to the bathroom. And then she realized that, like, she can't really wash her hands because she didn't really trust, you know, the water and stuff. Even though the church the church system was um, filtered. But, um, the church system was filtered. So it didn't matter. But, um, still, like, there's little things like that. Like, oh, I can't pee or I have to bring sanitizer. None of us had sanitizer. Like, I don't know why we didn't think about it, but none of us had sanitizer. And then, um... Well, out of the four of us. And then, um, um, one of my friends, Jackie, she had to do, she asked a couple of people, like, well, this one family, um, just a few questions, like, when did it start? How has it affected you? And how many water, how many bottles of water you guys go through? And she was like, this started three years ago. So three years, this thing has been happening. And she feels like, um, the best, well, a lady in Flint, she's like, this happened three years now, and, like, her granddaughter had to move because, you know, she's really young, and she was exposed to the lead, and they just don't trust her being out there, and they're just a little worried about her, and how they feel like the best option would be to relocate people, and how they go through 60 bottles of water a day, which is basically, like, if you have 24... <laughs> If you have a case of 40, that's basically two cases right there. And she said most of her water goes towards cooking and um, taking showers, I guess. And it was just, like, really crazy to see because these people are, like, literally in the situation. And the people who were in charge of giving out water were was the Fairhaven SDA Church. And it'd be different if it was, like, like when Andrews comes, it's like, all right, Andrews comes. But the people who were in charge of all this, they live in Flint, too. So, it was just interesting to see, like, people who live there giving out water as if, like, they don't need the water, too. And it was like when we were walking down the block giving water to people in their house, it was like, oh, yeah, the water's out again today. Let's go, go, you know, like, this is, like, their routine now, like, to open the door and get water from random people. And at the same time, like, their attitudes are so, like, positive, except this one, these two people, like. We were trying to give them water, and they were just like, yeah, just leave it there. And they never said thank you. And I was just like, okay. But outside of that, like, everyone was really, really, really nice. They wanted to pray. With, um, they were excited for us to pray with them. And when somebody's house, he's blasting Thai tribute. This other lady, she was just like, yes, God, yes. So she was like, I, I forgot to go to church today. But, you know, she's happy she forgot because then she got to meet us. And just stuff like that. It's like we take things for granted, you know. So it was really, I think this, this is my first time ever, um, being like responding to like i think like an issue like this physically so it was very different it was very um i don't know it kind of it kind of felt like like it didn't feel like i was helping people i don't explain okay let me explain what i, I it just felt like i was helping like family not strangers i think that's what i should say you know like it was like my cousin called me and was just like hey can you drop some of that the uh, off at the house for me that's what i felt like i was doing i felt like i was going to visit my family members instead of complete strangers and i think that's what i liked about it the most but i'm tired i have a whole bunch of homework to do but that's why right. just gonna hold me down he's gonna hold me down amen hallelujah okay